Hello guys. My poor turtle. It's somewhere in there. I told it to excavate a 20 by 20 area all the way down and I didn't think about the lava, how the lava would behave because it broke into the lava pillar then the lava would spread like five blocks um, then the turtle, every time the turtle would dig down to the next level it would spread five more blocks and five more blocks all the way down until it covered the whole thing luckily I didn't lose any items um, well the reason I, I dug here is because I wanted some more basalt <clears throat> but the turtle is down there and right now I'm gonna try to rescue him um, basically uh, the way it works is he uses an ender chest every time his inventory fills up and then he picks up the ender chest again so I didn't lose any items but he's down there he probably just stopped when he hit bedrock and so he, I, know, I know kinda where he is but I wanna see how this would work um, I know there's a few different ways I can do this to, to get my turtle out there out of there but I want to see what happens if I try to pour water on this big thing because I have a feeling it might cover the whole thing and that would be pretty crazy if it doesn't like crash the server so let me see how am I gonna do this I think I want the water right here Alright, let's see. Right underneath that. So let's see what happens here. Go on down. Come on. And th this could make it really easy if the water gets all the way down, then I could just keep breaking cobblestone until... until I get to my turtle. Oh man, I think it's actually going to work. That is crazy. Alright, I'm just going to cut the video. Check that out. Oh man, that is crazy. <laughs> yeah, that is awesome. I'm really glad I, I decided to record this. Yep. Almost done. That is so weird. It looks like it's pouring cobblestone down. I don't know if this is actually going to make it easier. There's still lava in there. It might it might help. <laughs> I told Oxcon to come check this out. I'm about to do surgery on this big block of cobblestone. It's not a cobblestone though, it's the inside still lava. But I need to still get my turtle out. It's somewhere... It's got to be near this corner because this is where I started it, this corner. And the way it works... Okay, the way it works is it goes and comes back to that corner every layer. So now let's pick up this water. I actually don't think I want this water all the way up here. That is so crazy. Alright, so let's just start digging in this corner. I think I want to have some cobblestone here holding the water. Um... I guess this will work. Then let me just put a wall. I'll just I'll just do it like right here. All right, then the water source in there. <laughs> yeah, this is apparently moving really slowly. I guess there's a lot to process or something. No, it's not too bad. But normally a big wall like that will take forever. Just like um, how emptying out a quarry takes forever. And even after you remove source blocks, it takes forever for a layer to empty. That looks so weird. All 
All right, so let me see. Water source is here, so I should be free to kind of dig in here. I think. If I can just get to the turtle to find it, and then I can put some commands into the turtle to get it to move itself out. I don't know why this isn't turning into cobble though. The other option is to get a hazmat suit and go in there and find the turtle because the lava won't hurt you and then I can just tell the turtle to, to move itself out. Huh, that's not going to work here. What if I block off the lava? Will it, uh, eh. I think we need bees to make hazmat suits. Or maybe just rubber. Super easy, he says. Ah, just rubber. An orange dye. Scuba helmet, I think. Because yeah, I just saw the, the pants and the... Oh, rubber boots and scuba... Ah! Alright, be right back. And I got it. All right. So yeah, I just need to go f go in there, swim around, find the turtle, and then I can just use the, the commands and say move up, move left, you know, and I can get it out. So that goes there. Rubber goes back. Um. All right. That should work. <laughs> Interesting video, I guess. Alright, so let's take off this fancy armor. Scuba gear. Oh yeah, I'm a, I'm a um, sloth, by the way, if you haven't already seen that before. Alright. Uh. Oh, you can see in there. <gasps> there it is. Oh yeah, because I have lava on clear, or clear, hold on, um, my video options, I gotta make this cooler. My water, I think if water's clear, it makes lava clear. Clear water, oh man, what? I don't, I don't know. Anyways, I'm gonna go save my turtle. Uh, okay. There you are. You have your inner chest? Yes. Alright. Go up. These are like built in programs. Alright. <laughs> There's a cobblestone roof. This is so weird. Go up. Go up. Go up. Turn left. Go forward. Go forward again. Go up. And go forward a couple times. Uh, Alright. Mission complete. Oops. Alright. I'll save those for any emergencies. That was cool. Okay. Let me send back the stuff to processing. I don't need these, I'll just send those back to processing. 
I actually needed this turtle for something I want to do. Uh, I want to do some building. That's my turtle for um, some basic mining and building stuff. All my own scripts in that one. So let me get to some other stuff I'm working on. One of the things is ultimate hybrid solar panels. These advanced solar panels, they they give like um, 8 EU per tick in daylight. Ultimate hybrid solar panels give 512 EU per tick in daylight. So um, there's two recipes. Um, I've I've done a lot of looking into the recipe there's a website actually look in the description there's a website that's really helpful it tells you all the materials needed for different um anything in feed the beast so uh, i looked at all the the total resources needed list for both these recipes and i found out that this is much cheaper um so this is what we're doing it takes the same amount of iridium for both of these um almost the same amount of uu matter but this you need like eight panels so there's like a bunch of silicone plates and stuff and all this stuff. So it's it's totally, um, if you're going to make ultimate hybrid solars, this top recipe is the way to do it. Um, so I kind of started doing making that. Um, I got this stuff. This is cheap. It's just coal. Well, there's obsidian. Th this uh, bunch of coal balls, which is coal dust and flint. Nothing expensive there. Just a bunch of coal. Um, lapis, not expensive. Um, you just need to put an advanced solar pa panel in the middle, which we have a bunch of, and these are all that I'm working on making. So, well, this isn't even done yet. Oh, hey, Bon actually, Bon actually did it. He actually finished. I was gonna do it on video because it was gonna be exciting, but oh well. So we got one of these done. We need two of them. This is where it's the most expensive. Um, you can see th this middle piece, Sunarium alloy. You need uh, eight iridium for, yeah, eight iridium for this thing. So one each, <clears throat> one for each of these. And you need an implosion compressor. Not only is iridium hard to get, but if you're out of gunpowder, it takes a while to get that much gunpowder to make industrial TNT. Um, so once you get, uh, basically, scenarium is glowstone and UU matter, and you just put that with the. Uh, Iridium, <clears throat> well, iridium alloy, which needs this, and diamond dust. It was very expensive. And not only did we use the UU matter for the sunarium stuff, but we used it for the iridium because we're out of iridium. So, this like three stacks of iridium of UU matter have gone into making one of these. But I think it's if we can just keep making a bunch of these ultimate hybrids, we're going to be producing UU matter like crazy. I mean, they'll pay for themselves, and then we'll just have infinite UU matter after that. Um, then in order to make this enriched scenario stuff, you need a bunch of uranium with glowstone. So, the expensive part for making, if you already, basically what, what that comes down to is, if you already have advanced solar panels, um, the only expensive thing, the only expensive things you'll need to upgrade to ultimate hybrid is a bunch of iridium, um, some UU matter, and uranium that's all this is really and gunpowder to make the TNT to produce these plates um, so uh, it's not too too much but it is a bunch of iridium it's 16 iridium for for the whole panel um, so speaking of iridium instead of using that much UU matter since we kinda ran out after, after that um, but we're producing it pretty fast now but still, I started a quarry. We just have this flat world that's um, it starts at like a high level. Uh oh, is this full? Hmm. I just started this last night. Wow. It's just running really fast, I guess, taking as much as it can. Um, it's just deleting all the cobblestone dirt and gravel so it doesn't overflow the system because my system would not keep up with all that and all the good stuff just gets put into the ender chest but why am I not getting anything oh no 
Oh no. Ah. Uh. <laughs> oh. Everything I've gotten so far has been dropped on the ground. Wow. Oh man. <laughs> oh. Uh. All right. That's just Oh, that's like the biggest fail I've done in this in the ser on the server. Hopefully that wasn't causing too much lag, but lag has been fine. Speaking of dropped items and lag, um, the cause of our lag in the past couple videos has apparently been, I guess Wade was clearing out some big area using a filler, and there was a bunch of, I guess he broke through a lake or something, and there was water flowing, and there was like hundreds of snowballs. So, um, we figured out that was a problem, we fixed that, and we haven't had any lag since, so that, that's good. But hopefully that's the only problem. It seems like it, it might be. Um, I, I know I got a message from a guy named Mind Fiend, and I wanted to respond and tell him thanks, but he's got contact locked uh, enabled, so I was sad. But uh, this guy, he was giving me tips on... Um, first of all, he gave me tips on these villagers. How they might be dying because uh, zombies can spawn in this middle area if there's a zombie siege event. Um, so that sucks, but uh, are my villagers still dying? I need to take care of that. Um, yeah, that's probably what's going on, so thanks. I'm, I'm glad that he he helped me with that. Um, he also said that Zycorium, these Zycorium blocks that we've been using a lot in our bases have been uh, they might cause lag. I don't really know. He said something about them always checking if they're part of a multi-block tank, but that, I don't know if that that doesn't seem to make sense because I know multi-tanks can be made out of any block, not just those. Um, but yeah, he said. I mean, I'm glad to get to get messages from people like that, especially seeing how smart uh, everyone is that's watching my videos. I mean, it's it's a cool feeling knowing that so many intelligent people are like kind of working working with each other to help each other out and stuff it's really cool makes me want to keep making videos um oh yeah so I just showed you that room that's that's the next thing I wanted to show you this if you remember was our first house underneath and it blew up a couple times and it was a disaster and we just ditched it and abandoned it down there it was all flooded with water because the glass was busted out from explosions um it was a mess uh <laughs> it was, it was, that was actually much more big, that was a hu huge disaster, that was like 10 times or 100 times as bad as what I just found with my quarry, so that was terrible, um, uh, <laughs> so yeah, that's fixed, and the new entrance, there's not that cobblestone bridge and tunnel that goes down, the new entrance is now, let me get in my house, ow, this is a, this up here looks like an entrance, but you can't get in, but you can, because I'm a hacker. So remember this thing, it went down to my dragon egg room, which is still down there, which there's no entrance to it now, but um, what happened with this thing, it was a tunnel that went straight down to bedrock level, to my dragon egg room, but then I built a village, and the village is like right here, so um, I had to use this for something else so basically just this just goes down to my new I mean our old house which I newly fixed repaired it last night now it's looking good I don't know what's gonna be down here but I, I kinda want to build more underwater rooms and kinda have like a network down here so when you're when you're up above you can look down and see a bunch of rooms down underwater that'll be pretty cool my light switch kind of half works now uh, <laughs> not even half, but I used to um, make them all turn off in a big swooshing pattern, all the way sliding across all the floor, that was cool, but that's totally destroyed after the explosions, the water got down there and uh, took out all the redstone and stuff, so maybe I'll fix that later, but we never really used it anyways, it was just a little cool 
side thing that I built just because. All right. Speaking of building, let's get to my tank room. I know I want to, the reason I quarried all this basalt is because I want to make some basalt bricks. I don't know if I want to do basalt bricks because I already did basalt bricks down there. Oops, wrong button. Down there in the machine room. There goes Oxcon again. All right, so the options for the floor, and I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try basalt pavers and basalt, chiseled basalt bricks, so recipe for those, all right, and basalt pavers, all right, I can, I can try these out. Uh, how much do I want? All right, that's good. Is that? Let me get some basalt pavers and figure out what I want to actually make my floor out of. Oh, okay, good. And I'll take some basalt bricks. And I guess those are my only options. That's what I'm gonna do. One of those. This uh, we're we're thinking of moving all these uh. Zycraft tanks, we're gonna switch them back to iron tanks because they're kind of laggy apparently, they can cause problems. So right now these are all disabled. I have broken uh, blocks in, in all the corners of these, except for one. Um, but yeah, instead of having like seven up, we just have one up right now. Um, so yeah, this this floor I want to make dark to, to, to ch cancel out or contrast with the light of the tanks and we're probably going to switch these iron tanks but still dark floor would look cool so i'm going to use my turtle to refloor this room but first let me figure out what material looks cool i think having too many of these might just be too much it might not look that great maybe it's kind of cool the salt bricks i don't even if I did basalt bricks, I want to use them in combination with something else because I've already done a bunch of basalt bricks in that other room. Basalt pavers might just look too too much like plain basalt to be worth trying. Oh, hey, Oxcon. Basalt pavers are basically basalt, but they have the the edges carved, so you can see like the the tiles. No, that's that's too boring. Uh, where's the sweet? He wants his sweet. It was his idea. He wanted a big heart-shaped heart bed in the bottom of the, underneath the village. <laughs> Alright, so not, not doing these. These are too simple. Um, trying to think. I'm going to use, I want to use these in combination with normal bricks. Alright, I think I know what I'm going to do. I'm basically going to fill the whole thing with these, but I'm going to have like a walkway made out of these. So like, you can like, this will be dark, then it'll go this way, there'll be a little walkway made out of these dark bricks, and then I guess to every tank there will be like little, little walkways in. Just c something subtle, you know? So let me just go make a bunch of these basalt pavers. No, not basalt pavers. Uh, I don't think I can do anything with these now. Let me just trash them. I need to bu make a bunch of these circle bricks. Chiseled basalt bricks. So, I've already done the time consuming part of putting a bunch of these uh, basalt cobblestone that I've got, I put them back into the furnace. So now I can just make a ton of bricks. This will, this will be enough to get me going for now. Those bricks. And I can make those bricks into the chiseled bricks. Alright. Oh. Yeah, then basalt bricks go in here. What you do is stick it right in this, I guess you would refer to it as the bottom left corner if, if you were 
looking at it as an air, from an aerial view. You give it two numbers. First, let me give it all the blocks. Chiseled basalt brick. I actually should not fill it all the way up because it's not going to have room to hold all the stone that it breaks. Actually, that's a lie because it's constantly dropping this stuff. That's enough, though, for now. All right, so you give it two numbers. I think the first number is the number it goes out. I gotta make sure not to not to give too much because it'll just break through anything in, in its way. It's gonna build a platform beneath it, um, and if there's any blocks already underneath it, it'll break them and then place the, the correct block. So I want it to go one, two, well, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. And I'll have it just come over to let's just do platform eleven sixteen. All right, and I'll do. I'll have to touch up the the edges of this by hand later on when I'm not recording. I'll do that. Now let's just make sure this thing turns right. And after this, I have one more thing to show you. One small thing. Alright. This should be fine. Alright. I'll just let it run. Even if it hits that thing, not a big deal. I don't, I'm pretty sure it won't. So the last thing I want to show you is my new building world, which I have no idea what I'm going to use for. I just had the inspiration one night to make an awesome world. So... It's called Num's Skylands. Pretty cool. I got a the sky. Uh, I mixed two colors. I mixed cyan and green, so we get this kind of nice green color. It's frozen at noon. Um, this is basically what the whole world is like. A bunch of uh, well, it's, it's skylands with different green biomes. So there's forests, there's extreme hills, there's um, jungles, and so on, woodlands. And all I've done so far is built a kind of, built some of these walkways. Let me turn up my render distance just a tiny bit. Normally I play on normal, but I kind of cut it down to help with frames and recording, but it should be fine. So... I'm, yeah, I, I, I'm kind of having ideas of stuff to make, like, it could be really cool to have, like, windows in these, and, like, kind of, uh, bridges connecting different sections, and I, I just don't really know what I would put in here, besides just a build, you know, no machines or anything, because we already have that covered, I really don't know, but, yeah, this is, this is, like, a really cool world. It's all marble, but that's not everywhere. Just I found this area that's all marble. It's crazy. It's got to be the biome or something. Yeah, pretty cool. No one's actually seen this. Um, anyone on the server, unless they've explored the third floor of my house, which I don't see why anyone would, they wouldn't have found this. It's only been there for a couple days. Yeah. I think I might just build like a house floating in the open right here, this big area right here. That would be nice. Lots of ideas. But that's going to be the end of this video today. Hopefully you guys enjoyed, and I'll talk to you guys next time.